The most well-known close encounter involved a flight captain with 30 years experience interpreting the sky. One of the most famous UFO cases anywhere in the world took place in Alaska. It begins as a routine cargo flight on November 17, 1986. A Japanese plane loaded with wine leaves Paris on the long haul back to Tokyo. But over Alaska, JAL Flight 1628 becomes anything but routine. This is the first time they've ever had radar data for more than a few seconds on a UFO. John Callahan was the FAA division head in charge of evaluations and investigations at the time of the JAL flight. You have an airplane or a structure or a craft that's sitting outside that 747's window and it never entered my mind that it might really be a UFO until I saw the radar. Just after 6 p.m., Captain Kenju Terauchi and a crew of two enter Alaska airspace for the second leg of their journey, heading for Anchorage. At the helm, Captain Terauchi has nearly 30 years in the cockpit. At 6.19 p.m., the crew sees something on the radar. Unable to see another plane outside the window, they asked the control tower to identify it. Anchorage Center, Japan Air 1628. Do you have any traffic? Uh, Seven o'clock above? Japan Air 1628, heavy negative. Moments later, the crew sees a pair of lights on the horizon. Inside, uh, we have two traffic in front of us, about a mile ahead. Anchorage air traffic control still sees nothing. Over the next 30 minutes of that flight, a, a variety of incidents and things occurred that made this flight the mystery flight of, of UFOs. Coming up. Uh, we're not sure, but we have the traffic inside now. It's a huge ship out here. It's no longer an airplane. It's a huge thing out here that's four times as big as an aircraft carrier. November 1986, as JAL 1628 approaches Anchorage, the crew reports seeing strange lights. Over the next 40 minutes, one of the most famous UFO stories in the world unfolds over the skies of Alaska. The JAL transmission catches Anchorage air traffic control off guard. Not sure, but we have the traffic inside now. And when the controller hears these words, it's like it's like death approaching him because it means that somehow he screwed up, missed something, something's wrong somewhere. Anchorage Air Traffic Control now asks Flight 1628 to maintain visual contact with the unknown craft. We cannot identify the type, but we can see the uh, strobe lights. Just the color of the strobe light and, uh, lights. Uh, the color is white and yellow, I think. It's uh, quite a big. It's uh, I think uh, very quite a big. 
now seeing a massive, unidentified flying object. It's a huge ship out here. It's no longer an airplane. It's some kind of a huge thing out here that's four times as big as an aircraft carrier. 19 minutes after first encountering the unidentified craft, the crew nervously requests a new altitude and change to their flight plan. The goal, shake the unknown craft. Just uh, deviate uh, uh, from uh, some object, uh, request heading uh, 240. Spinner 1628, roger, fighting 240. Spinner 1628, uh, heavy deviations approved as necessary. Air traffic control requests that the Japanese airliner make a full circle. Japan Air 1628 Heavy, uh, so I'm going to request you to make a right turn 360 degrees, 360 degree turn, and advise me what your traffic does then. Uchi believes the unidentified object has disappeared. But now military radar picks up something behind the Japanese airliner. 1628 Heavy, military radar advises they are picking up intermittent primary target behind you. In trail, in trail, I say again. So you have radar confirmation of the object, you have professional aviators reporting the object, and Military radar spotted them behind and to the left of JAL flight. Air traffic control requests another jet close by United Flight 69 to fly within sight of JAL and report any traffic. Uh, center from United uh, 69. The uh, Japan airliner is silhouetted against a uh, light sky. I don't see anybody around him at all. I can't see his contrail, but I sure don't see uh, a copy any other airplane. United Flight 69 is too late. The craft has vanished. JAL 1628 continues on to its scheduled stop in Anchorage. Safe on the ground, Captain Terauchi's story makes it to the press. Within weeks, JAL is international news. This sighting was made by an airline pilot with 29 years of experience. The Federal Aviation Administration in this country began an investigation and it ended today. The FAA report concludes that the pilot story cannot be confirmed. They determine that the second radar image is actually an echo of the cargo plane. But former FAA department head John Callahan believes the official reports are wrong. Callahan's division investigated the radar and cockpit recording from the JAL flight. Well, a blind man could see that there was another aircraft or craft of some type there because it shows up on radar. It had to be some type of a craft. Callahan asserts the pilot's eyewitness account is independently confirmed by radar. Everybody had that target on the radar somewhere along the line. If the pilot said it was a UFO, who are we to say it's not? To this day, the flight captain maintains that he saw a UFO in the skies of Alaska. Coming up, a UFO in...